guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So iOS 12.2 is finally here and with that came Apple News to Canada. So we already knew that Apple News was going to come to Canada from the beta versions of all the iOS uh, updates that were coming through. And today it was official now with iOS 12.2. So not only do we get the new news app, uh, we also get the new updated logo as well. So this is how it looks when you open it up for the first time. Um, so I've been playing around with it. Um, and so yeah, it's pretty cool, simple. So as you can see, it has a date all the way to the top uh, left corner. It has the Apple News logo there. And then of course, it's just really easy. Um, it will show you the news that you that it thinks it will, that you will want to read based on the likes that you did when you were setting up the Apple News. And so yeah, it's just very, very, very cool. Um, so yeah, this is the main page of the free version of Apple News. So this is where you get to read the news, of course, or any other articles that you're following from other blogs and all that stuff. So not only do we get the new uh, Apple News uh, um, feature in iOS 12.2 here in Canada, we also get to see Apple News Plus. So Apple News Plus is the a uh, new service that Apple uh, released or showed off today in their big presentation at the Steve Jobs Center. And with Apple News Plus, uh, we get uh, the subscription-based model of uh, magazines that you wanna read. So you get to, of course, browse the catalog there. You get to see all the magazines that you wanna follow and pretty much almost every single one of them is there. Um, of course, you get uh, not only magazines, but you also get news articles as well. So like the Toronto Star, uh, which is one of the Canadians uh, uh, news place that uh, partnered with Apple with this. Um, National Geographic, you get to see the latest magazines as well. Uh, health, so yeah, it's just really, really awesome. Uh, I just, I'm still figuring out how to use this app since I just downloaded the update and I saw the presentation, all that stuff, of course. And so, yeah, just really, really cool. Um, but yeah, it's just a simple uh, app. I'm a big fan actually of the Apple News Plus stuff uh, just because, you know, I like to read these type of magazines a lot online. I go to their websites, read a lot of their articles. And so, yeah, it's just really cool. So how much is it gonna cost you? It's gonna cost you $12.99 every single month. But the first month, of course, is free uh, with Apple News Plus. So you can actually have up to six uh, people, uh, I think, I'm not sure, I think up to six people in your account uh, to uh, be able to use this. Uh, so yeah, it's just really, really cool. And then of course on the third tab, it's just your following. So here you get to follow other stuff if you want, um, as well, other news places. Um, so if you click on technology, of course, it will only show you technology as well, only stuff there. Um, and then of course you have your suggestion by Siri. So in your suggestion by Siri, of course, you get to see what you want to show more when you're reading Apple News. Um, and so yeah, it's just really, really cool. Um, but yeah, it's just a simple, simple app. Uh, so yeah, these are all the partners that you have here, of course, all the Canadian partners right here. So the Global Mail, National Post, Financial Post, the Weather Network. So yeah, it's just, you have a ton of uh, uh, Canadian uh, stuff here, Canadian journalism, they get to subscribe, um, but yeah, it's still cool, I'm still playing around with it, um, but yeah, this is pretty much the big thing in iOS 12.2, um, of course, there was other stuff, um, like um, new Animojis, um, what else, uh, the update to support the AirPods 2 as well, so whenever, if you decide to order the AirPods 2, uh, you'll need that update to be able to use those features um with um with uh, ios 12.2 so yeah it's just really really cool um what else do we have and that's pretty much it a lot of it was media stuff of course uh so if you're not into that stuff ios 12.2 has pretty much nothing except for the apple news plus if you live in canada or in the us uh the airplay 2 i think is the other thing and emojis and the update for airpods so yeah that's pretty much it the big things that uh, was released in ios 12.2 so that's pretty much it guys, and as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.